Hello! Now our only hope is Tran. Wait a second. Is he not gonna... Uh, okay. There you go, he gave us back the antidote and the repair powder. We need those. We definitely need those. I'm not gonna lie to you at all. Um, but always, and this is the thing I was talking about. So now that we have uh, houses to uh, pull in, you know, like rebuild. Um, so we're gonna go to configuring an assembly. We have Macho's house, and I wouldn't worry about like windmills or roads or anything like that for right now until later on. Uh, so I'll put Macho in. I don't think I can. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then I'll come here. And as you see, there's good, every time you rebuild a place, uh, chests pop up. Make sure you go to him first before you get these chests. Because if you don't, and you end up getting a certain item that you needed already, then he won't give you that item. So if you go to him first, he'll refill like that bread. Like if I used my bread, which is a health thing, or the water, uh, I wouldn't have it refilled. Or I would have it refilled, or I, w or I would have those from here, but I wouldn't have them refilled by him. So go refill on him first, then get these, and you'll have two of the items instead of a uh, small amount. Another thing is there's a first person view, which makes it a lot easier to walk around these. Oh, this is the front door. That makes it easier to walk around and find chests inside the house. Uh, so we're going to talk to Macho, which is one of the best characters here. Uncle, I missed you, man. I don't know why I made him Jamaican. He's actually, uh, okay, before you call me racist for, like, um, like stereotyping, because he does look slightly dark, he is tan. He is a white, ma tiny, tan man. Okay, so, I was going for, a like, a deep, like, caveman voice, but whatever. I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Okay, so, you can just say hello, see how they are. Uh, yeah. Uh, how should I rebuild Rune? Fighting is what a man should live for. That's why I put him next to the Divine Beast Cave. Every character wants to be in a certain area here. Like, there's one character later on that we get at their house, and they want to be away from the mayor's place. Because, though, it's like the ship is too loud or whatever. Uh, and then he'll say, well, what happened when it's done? And they will tell you, like, yeah. Uh, how to rebuild your house. So he needs a barbell and, uh basically a cabin space so don't really have those yet so we can't really do much with it but no we can't do anything these will be told and we get more of this kind of stuff later on all right so uh like this kind of stuff it doesn't matter because this will just get in your way when you're rebuilding so don't really worry about that at the moment uh now that we have everything refilled it's time to go back into the cave I really think we're going to probably get, like, two, uh, one room done this episode, like, one, uh, floor. We'll get two floors done every episode after that. And that'll kind of spread out, uh, everything. And that's also telling you how many enemies you've defeated on that floor and how many Atla pieces you have, uh, picked up. So it's a nice little thing. So. Got a notification from YouTube and it kind of disturbed, uh, bothered me for a second there. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kind of looks like a weird Chinese raccoon. I don't know why. So, wow. I've never had it directly next to me like, two times in a row. There's no enemies in here? Okay, there's a couple enemies in here. So, I'm walking away from him and I'm going to equip this thing because I do not want to get poisoned again I do not want to waste any of that kind of stuff I just okay I do not want to be poisoned uh, I think it goes away after getting poisoned enough times a certain amount of times not really uh, after holding it for a while um, but that little those three bars up there are basically um, like quick inventory or uh, active items. Wow, whoops. Um, you can put like act like uh, weapon items because like you'll get like bombs and stuff later on and stuff like that. Um, and it's it's nice. So, uh, we got supplies and that and a uh, dumbbell. So the dumbbell's pretty good though because that's what he wanted. Did, did I just see? God dang it! There's a lot of items here. That's so good. Um, 
I mean, it's kind of good. Uh, annex room? Okay. There's a dasher. These guys are the simple enemies. Wow. Our weapon's already breaking. How do we get another crest from a damn uh, one of those? I'm not using that repair powder. I mean, I will, but I mean, if there's one in here, then... Level up powder. Oh, that's so good. I'm not using that. I usually try to say... Look at that repair powder. Um, so, level up powder, uh, basically already it, are, it upgrades a weapon instantly so it's kind of like the rare candy of the game I do not use them much uh, until I get a weapon I feel like I'm gonna be using for a while and since I play this game a little bit I've had like four playthroughs but I have never beaten the game I've always I've gotten halfway through the game twice um, just because it, it, that one boss is really difficult and I'm not good at it um, but why is the volume so low on the whatever um, so this is a skull skeleton door. You need a skeleton key to get into it, and it's just further in the dungeon. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, what else can I talk about real quick? Um, I really don't see much to talk about, so I think I'm just going to, uh, oh, I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> Well, he didn't drop anything. I do want to talk about uh, Walmart for a second here. So, you guys know how crazy Walmart can be. Uh, and I want to talk about a story that happened to me a while ago. I haven't talked about it on the channel or anything. Um, but it's so weird. So, I live in Georgia. Georgia is a place of wonder. Oh, wind. That's actually kind of that's kind of good. for Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to interrupt myself here real quick. Uh, I... D Oh yeah, I have the repair powder, I don't, or the level up powder. I don't need that right now. Uh, okay, there we go. We're good. Um, but Walmart can be a little on the crazy side if you don't already know. I went to a Walmart with my girlfriend once. Uh, you know Harley. I've talked about her a bunch on this channel. Um, and. I was trying to find her. She, she walked away for a little bit. Well, I am going through the clothes section. Now, remember, this is Georgia. This is the weird shit. And this was... Oh, God. Georgia sucks. I'm going to be honest. I hate it. Um, but I'm going through uh, the clothes, clothes to get straight to, like, the groceries and stuff like that. You know, like, the, or the grocery aisles. And I see this couple making out. Now... I was like, come on, you guys, get a room. Uh, and I was just, it was like ridiculous to me, you know? So. Okay, one second. Uh, weapon. Um, so. Uh, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't waste my level of well, power powder. Okay, cool. Um. But they're they're just a couple making out in the middle of like I guess it was like the bra aisle or something like that. I don't remember. Um, it was in the woman's like clothing and stuff. Um, but they're just making out, and it was just like, come on, get a room, you know. Well, <laughs> next thing you know, he pushes her away and starts just putting her in a chokehold. Now I'm like come on, now you actually need to get a room. I know you may be into that. I don't think other people are going to be very into that. Well, next thing I know, I hear this, like, this just this flamboyant voice of an old lady, like, and she says, Oh, come on now, you get off your sister like that. To the both of them. Which I put two and two together. They were brother and sister making out in the middle of Walmart. How fitting is that? <laughs> it was just so weird. It was so fucking weird. God damn it, okay. 
Okay, cool. We got more bread. That's more health items for us. That's pretty good. See, so, yeah. oh, okay. These guys are. If they attack you once, you're dead. They're an insta kill enemy right here, and I do not like them. I do not enjoy them, and I do not like going back to these these rooms. Uh, I usually do try to avoid them, but they do give good experience for your weapons, so I I don't want to avoid them. Uh, oops. So you kind of get how I feel there. But yeah, Walmart's crazy. I mean, I was just in uh, Kroger the other night, or uh, last night, not the other night, last night, and these kids were just going crazy. Me and my mom, uh, she asked me to go grocery shopping with her, and I was like, okay, sure, yeah, I'll do it. Because, um, as, as you guys know, I'm a loser, and I still live with my parents. Um, so, we're going through um, um, Kroger, and this kid is just run these kids, like five kids running through the aisle. Uh, so you have one kid in the shop, two kids in the shopping cart, one kid pushing the shopping cart, three other kid, or actually it was more than that, yeah, three other kids running through the aisles and stuff. One kid runs up to um, where like the tortilla shells and stuff are, and just grabs it, plastic and all, takes a huge chunk out of it with his teeth, and just like like spits it out on the floor and starts laughing and runs away. Did, did I get... Did you give me... Okay, you gave me a water back. Okay, good. Then, um... After that, little girl, like, tries to run her brother over or something like that. And so he responds with, Let me do a backflip. <laughs> Just in the middle of the aisle. Just fucking backflips or something. And, like, I just see him halfway through the flip, and for some reason my mind's like, oh, this is like anime. <laughs> like, let me assume that he got hit hard enough, and he just started flipping. You know, that's, that's not it. There you go, that's the mom. So, oops. So, yeah, that was really strange. Um, but now, when you add more stuff, uh, sometimes... Why is this dumbbell outside? Um, uh, okay, got that. Um, but, and, and then, like, some other shit happens. Like, they almost run over my mother with the shopping cart. And I just hear the lady yelling, Yo, where the yeasty bread at? just to the front, like, halfway through the aisle. First off, what the hell is yeasty bread? I think she just meant bread. But, God, it was so crazy. And then after a little bit, wait, what was it? Oh, fentanyl lamp, okay. So we're about to actually do something nice. Uh, um, but then, then you just hear over the intercom, Kroger employees and shoppers. Security in Area 8. Security in Area 8. And you hear these kids screaming and bumping shit over. There was one kid choking out his brother or something like that, I guess. Like, just fucking choking him out, too. And just slams him into, like, the Sprint T-Mobile, like, little kiosk booth thing. It's crazy. God, I... I hate the South. I really do. So, as you see here, we have fully finished an entire uh, house. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll do that next time.